What is urine protein electrophoresis, or UPEP, and is it still used? Much like the skeletal survey, uh, urine evaluation of free light of, of uh, Bench Jones proteinuria is probably something that uh, we can move beyond. Um, I think the serum free light chain assay in many ways has supplanted uh, urine analysis of uh, monoclonal protein. Uh, that said, it still remains a criteria for clinical trials uh, and uh, is relevant to uh, obtain in the context of clinical trials. Uh, in clinical practice, less so. UPEP stands for urine protein electrophoresis. Whenever somebody has a plasma cell disorder, whether it be MGUS or myeloma or amyloid, the cancer cells are making an abnormal protein that's being released into the blood. And this protein tends to float in the blood and we can pick up uh, this protein by an SPEP and an immunofixation. But all of this protein gets uh, processed by the kidneys. And whenever the kidney is damaged or the kidney has reached maximum capacity of processing this protein, it's gonna be dumping it in the urine. So we can identify and pick up this protein in the urine at times. Before we had free light chains as a, a test that we could use regularly for blood, we had to rely on UPEP because we had cases of patients who did not have any detectable SPEP or abnormal protein in the blood, but we were finding it in the urine because that's where it was being concentrated. So that is something that we're still doing for several reasons. One, there, we wanna make sure that when somebody's being diagnosed that we have uh, turned all stones and made sure that we looked everywhere. So if we find it in the, in the blood, we also wanna make sure if it's detectable in the urine or not as a baseline. We don't need to use it on a regular basis while we're treating patients, but then it's also very important to use it whenever we're confirming a remission. If we suspect that somebody's in remission and we don't detect a protein in the blood, we wanna make sure that we do a UPEP to see if we still detect that protein in the urine or if it's been cleared by the urine as well. And that way we can be guaranteed that the patient has uh, met the criteria for a remission and what depth of remission they've achieved. But to be honest, UPEP is a test that is now phasing out little by little and free light chains are taking over that test. We still are gonna be using it a lot of the times. And one of the reasons why we do it is more for study purposes. A lot of the clinical trials that have been done on multiple myeloma relied heavily on UPEPs back in the days. And if we wanna be comparing data from now to data from back in the days, we wanna be using similar variables. And UPEP is one of those tests that we wanna be using as a constant during those studies.